Okay, hi Aditi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay, uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself uh, and just introduce yourself, your experience in web development. Uh, okay, yes, sir. So, my name is Aditi Singer. I belong to Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh, currently living in Delhi, and uh, I'm doing training uh, as a full stick Java developer. Okay, you are uh, learning. You are learning Java. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Okay. And I have uh, average knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. So, so in, in this interview, we will start with HTML, C, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. Some theoretical questions. For twenty minutes, we'll do some theoretical questions, and then I will ask you some output-based questions. And then I will give you some small project to make. Okay. So your JavaScript experience is not uh, very good, is it? Or so it's like average. Okay. Okay. So let's start with HTML first. So can you tell me what is full form of HTML? Hypertext markup language. Okay. And why do we use HTML? What is the use of HTML? Uh, so to make the layout of the uh, web page to uh, structure our website. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Now, can you tell me the full form of HTTP? Uh, hy- Hypertext transfer protocol. Yeah, that's correct. And why do we use HTTP? What is the use case of HTTP? So it takes uh, it uh, uh, whatever we search in the Google, uh, it takes all the information from there and. Uh, like, uh, it shows us. Okay. Yeah, it shows. So what is HTTP? You told the full form and what it does. And what is HTTP? Uh, Sir, it transfers all the information to us. Like. Yeah. Something. Okay. So, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? Uh, Sir, the main difference is, uh, is security. HTTPS is secured. Uh, like it shows the information security. And that's good. Whatever we uh, whatever we are searching here, it is secure. Like uh, no one is uh, gonna see what we are you know, doing in the that particular website. Okay. Uh, so whenever a website loads, what is the order of uh, the content uh, being loaded? Like which one loads first, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, or in which order does it load? Uh, so first, to uh, HTML would load, okay. I think, and then CSS and then JavaScript. Okay. That's good. Now, what is the uh, difference between elements and tags in HTML? Um, so elements uh, are uh, like, uh, uh, like there is a H1 heading tag and uh, between those tags, there is something written that is uh, that whole is called uh, element and the and if we see uh, that only closing tag, opening tag and closing tag, that is like different. Yeah, that's correct. Now, what are semantic tags in HTML? Semantic tag. So those tags, those uh, don't have a closing tag. Okay, then what are self-closing tags? No, sir. So self-closing tags don't have closing tags. It uh, only have only opening tags. Okay. Then what are semantic tags? Uh, this sir, I don't know. No problem. Why do we use doc type in the top of file HTML file? Uh, to sir to get the uh, version of that uh, HTML. Yeah, that's correct. And what is the difference between uh, like section and div? Like um, there is a, okay, okay, and that section is a semantic tag and you don't know semantic tags. So that question doesn't make sense for you. So what are uh, attributes in HTML? Why do we use attributes? What are attributes? Rich, um Attributes are like uh, for views for 
styling or like something okay now for there is one style attribute which we can use for styling and there are yes. other attributes also so yes, sir. Oh, so there are many can give, attributes. Uh, can you give some examples of it? Oh, uh, two, three attributes of exam. Uh, like examples of attributes. And the how? So uh, currently it's not uh, coming. Okay. So like, I will give you one example, so you will uh, you will get the idea. For example. uh on image tag there is a source attribute okay so in the same uh, way you can here attribute like uh, in image uh, tag it is yeah uh, it's a single attribute or current attribute yeah so can you think of other attributes now or uh, sir in script tag in script tag also we use uh, src attribute yeah okay no problem now let's see to next question why do we use meta tags what is purpose of using meta tags do don't know sir okay no problem uh do you know uh difference between uh, do you know svg and canvas do you know canvas tag in html canvas element no sir no okay no problem okay what is difference between div and span Um, sir, div is like a block element. It uh, takes the uh, space in a block format, and uh, span is like inline uh, level element. Okay. So, yeah, that's correct. But what is difference between block and inline? So, block element can uh, occupy the space in number of rows, in number of columns, and uh, span is like only in line it takes space only in a line uh okay that's not very true like you can explain it more clearly but <laughs> how much width does a block element take by default a width I don't know, sir. Okay. So basically, a block element takes the width of its parent. Whatever is the width of parent, it will take that much width. Okay. And inline elements take the width of its content. Whatever content is present inside that, let's say "Hello World" is written inside a span, so its width will be "Hello World" that much only. But if you write in a Uh, like hello world inside a div its width will be full even hello world is a small part the div will be full like full parent whatever is its parent it will take full width okay that is uh, that is one css question now we'll move to next next css question which is what is full form of css cascading style sheet okay so what does it mean by cascading style sheet is okay like style sheet means this is there is a sheet where we write styles for our web page what does it mean by cascading yeah, so like um, don't know sir okay do you know a specificity in css no sir okay and uh, do you know cascade rule cascade rule in css no so the cascading word comes from the cascade rule in css you can learn it later later on okay so okay sir uh do you know selectors what are selectors in css so id selector class selectors yeah. element yes. selectors yeah those are some examples of selectors but if you can give explanation what is a selector those are examples of selector it is difficult uh, so if we want say if we want to if you want any data from that uh, like uh, if we have a div 
like like so like i will uh, explain it as, as an example yeah. they were for dev tag okay we have uh, something written under that and uh, we given the id and class name uh, so we will call it from there and that okay, yeah. okay we we don't call it like we we select we just target we can do we can say we can you can target that element and give some styles okay yes so there are uh, different selectors you said like id selector class selector and uh, element selector or tag name selector so uh, let's say there is one paragraph tag on which there is a uh a class called paragraph okay uh, let's say there is a class called paragraph and in css file what we are doing is we are writing uh, dot paragraph color equal to red and then below we are doing p we are selecting that same element using p tag and giving it color of green so which color will be applied on the paragraph uh, so um, uh, before what color you said red uh, red will okay why why red will be applied uh, so because uh, uh id selectors are more preferred okay yeah like that is class selector so can you can you tell me the order of preference which is more highest priority which has less priority and then less can you tell me from low to high which has lowest uh, element yeah element has lowest and then and then id and then class no element class and id in this order it goes this okay and this is we can say is called a specificity actually there is a number attached to that to a selector like uh tag selector has one specificity class has 10 and then id has 100 we can say like this okay you can learn about it in more detail okay, okay. Uh, what is the use of important keyword in css why do we use important keywords no like right. there is something called important in css there is a word we use in css that word itself is important like i m p o r t a n t like uh so uh to uh, do a task to may do a task for c okay yeah to apply some styles for c so have you used this no sir have only studied this okay so should we use important in our css files or not use mm. so it's uh, not necessary to use it but uh, if we want any uh, particular uh, like anything if we want particularly then we use okay okay no problem now let's move to next question what are uh like what is different uh, like uh, default value of position property position property and one nasal okay so do you know position absolute and position relative can we use these things these do you know what is difference between the two no sir okay answer uh, absolute uh, position like uh, it's a uh, uh, it's not going to change uh, if we do something in that uh, particular web page in a uh, website and uh, relative is like uh, we can uh, make changes uh, according no in both we can do changes we can move element from left to right top to bottom 
Okay. If there is other difference. No problem. What is flex box in CSS? Um, so if we want uh, any, uh, if we make a nav bar, uh, we want, uh, like, uh, uh, without CSS we write, it, uh, it is coming like in the, uh, it is coming horizontally. And then if we prior, um, do with the flex, it is like uh, in order. Okay, yeah, and that's good. 